do. Ooh, I fuck a bitch, I forgot a name. Yeah. I can't. I think I'm perfect. So this is going to be somewhat of a talk through of me trying to become a blonde. So I'm using two 10 inch um, bundles of 613 and then an 8 inch 4x4 four four closure. Um, one of the bundles as you can see um, had a darker root in the closure. I just um, dyed so I could get blonde. So right here I am... I want to say I am, wait, pause, okay, I forgot what video this was, y'all, excuse me, but right here, so I'm using box dye, uh, if you saw in the beginning, it's two different auburn colors, I want to say soft auburn and medium auburn, or something like that, I'll have that in the description bar, but I am bleaching, not bleaching, but coloring my hair with box dye, and it was like kind of sort of a fail, but I resurrected a little bit. Um, but these two dyes I got from Walmart, they were like four dollars a two, three or four dollars a piece. And um, on the bottom half, I'm using one box, and the other half on the top half, top bundle, I'm using another box. And like I said, I will have the exact color and stuff in the description bar. But I did have it in the beginning of the video, I was just a little thrown off because I do have another video coming up soon with me um toning some blonde hair so i thought this was that video but no it's not so um i'm just making sure that i get the hair dye all the way through i use one box for one bundle and the other box for the other bundle um and just really saturated the hair and like you know just saturated really really well um in and out and that's all i'm doing here y'all like i'm not doing anything fancy i just want to color this hair with box dye and this is the hair that i actually wore for new year's eve i wore it for like two or three days and then i took it off i do need to thin out the back so i think i'm gonna cut it shorter into like a, not a pixie but like just a short bob look because i really don't like how thick the back is so if y'all have tips on thinning out hair, because I've tried to do it with the razor comb and it's still just too thick. And I only used two bundles thinking that that would, you know, not be, you know, as thick as it was. But then I also got to think I used 10 inches and not, you know, like 16 or 18 inches. These are 10 inch bundles. So they're going to be um, thicker. But yeah, so I am, I don't know why I'm not in focus or in camera i don't even know what's going on but i'm bleaching the second bundle here and i'm using a um lighter color at the bottom i use a darker color and at the top i use the lighter color and like i said i will um put the colors that in the description bar even though i know for a fact they are in the beginning clip but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this second bundle. And with my closure, I just um, did some some of the first bottle. I just did a mixture of the two. It wasn't like a method as to what I did to the closure. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to let you all just watch the video until I feel like I need to explain the next part. Okay, I'm back. We're almost at the beginning, and I did see that I did not um, show me using the cognac from, I want to say, Dark and Lovely, or I put it in the description, or I think it's Texture and Tones. I used the color cognac, and that's the color I probably just should have did all over because it came out so much better than the other two box dyes. But um, this hair is just some scrap hair that I had laying around, and I just wanted to play in some box dye color because I had that laying around as well. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and the pictures are about to come now. It's cold out here, but I'm cute. I just gotta fix my ear. 
leaving andretti's oh,